It is cold today. Uh, it was 23 degrees when I woke up. It's probably in the mid 20s right now. I don't know about you, and I know that you probably are used to colder weather. A lot of you out there are skating in colder weather than this. I'm from California. This is the south. We are, we are not used to this sort of weather. Um, what a perfect day to have an indoor skate area. So uh, if you've been following the channel, you've seen the progress at the Balanced Distribution Warehouse. Um, long story short, we got too big as 5050 Compass and Chroma and are now expanding to a legitimate warehouse to hold all of our stock, to ship all of our orders, and eventually have a showroom and a little workshop so that we can help people find the right skate products for them. One of the perks of having a warehouse now is that we have a skatable area indoors that we can set up however we want. So the left side, which I guess is your right side, uh, has all of our products and inventory. This will all be on shelves eventually. And then the right side is where we're going to be skating. So we've been building a little obstacle course out here. Uh, we've got two eight foot ledges. We've got a nice two foot quarter pipe. Today, the goal is to build a two foot incline so that we can keep our speed from one side of the warehouse to the other. So the goal out here is that we're going to build a space that we can skate that we can allow other people to skate, try out different products, maybe test the difference between anti-rocker and juice blocks and flat setups, and eventually have lessons. So we'd love to invite people over that just want to learn how to skate. You know, skate parks are amazing, but they can get a little busy, a little bit noisy, especially with COVID times. It can get a little sketchy with the amount of people around you. So having a dedicated space that we can limit the amount of people back here. Everybody can skate safely. Everybody can learn. It's gonna be really fun. Both of these boxes that I'm sitting on are adjustable. So you can raise them or lower them, or you could put them at an incline to test out different setups, to learn different tricks. The goal today is to build a two foot incline so that we can have a place that you can roll in, but it's gonna be mellow. That way you'll be able to get used to skating a two foot transition before you actually skate a quarter pipe transition. That'll get you used to the height, used to some speed. And then when you transfer over to, to a two foot transition, you'll get used to actually dropping in. It's all gonna be progressive. It's all going to be learning the fundamentals and then working your way up. I can't wait for you guys to come over and check it out. All right, so I got the sidewalls cut. I went with a two foot deck, two feet tall, which means that on a sheet of four by eight plywood, I've got a six foot long uh, incline. I don't know if you would call that a transition. Uh, technically, I guess it's transitioning from the flat to the down, but it should be really mellow enough to get good speed, but not so much that it's intimidating for people learning. We also would love to take that quarter pipe and turn it around and pair it up with the back of this incline and create a little launch ramp eventually. So lots of modular obstacles back here. We're planning on moving things around, never skating the same setup twice. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. All right, to uh, put the skeleton together and then uh, put the decks and uh, see how this goes. All right, um, I think I'm going to move those sheets a little bit. Uh, I gotta get the, uh, uh, the steel at the bottom, the little uh, slab of uh, sheet steel so that the uh, masonite doesn't get broken like it did last time. And then we should be pretty good. We should be all set. Uh, it looks really good. The height is perfect. The, the distance down feels like, uh, you know, the slope is, is pretty good. Um, I think it's gonna be a lot of speed. So I don't know that you're gonna need to go all the way to the top, um, but definitely as a catch ramp, coming off of a trick or something, coming up that and then coming back down, it's gonna be really great for that.
All right, it is ready to skate. It is a lot longer than I had in my head, <laughs> but I think it will be actually really good for pairing up with this other two foot quarter pipe. If we put this one over against the wall on the left and then the quarter pipe, the two, in, two foot quarter pipe right next to it. So these are back to back. I think that's gonna be really cool. And eventually we could turn the quarter pipe so that both of the backs face each other. We have a nice little launch ramp to uh, like a fun box style landing. All right, gonna get my skates on and uh, give it a try. All right, it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's pretty fun. The um, 16 here is tough. Uh, it is just so long and the space is only 36 long. So it really doesn't give you enough time to actually pivot and make a transition. I think the way that I'll set this up is I'll have the new incline pushed all the way against the wall. I'll move this two foot quarter pipe down there so that it's on the this side of uh, the quarter uh, of the incline and then eventually we're going to build an eight foot wide quarter pipe on this end that means that there won't be so much speed this incline while mellow you get so much speed um, it is really amazing how fast you can go with just this uh <laughs> two foot quarter two foot incline um, it feels good though. Uh, it's a controllable speed. I think it's going to be perfect for beginners. Uh, maybe not inside. Maybe not inside because it starts getting weird. But I think if we push it over against the wall and get plenty of speed and do some coping tricks on the eight foot quarter pipe and then come down and hit this. I do think this box is too long at 16, but we are going to build a permanent box here at 16, which is going to double as shoe storage underneath as well as the seating for when we do VOD uh, and video premieres uh, on the wall from the projector. So lots of future plans. Uh, this is a great first step though. I'm really really happy with that incline. It seems to seems to do the exact job that I wanted. It's just so much faster than I had expected. <laughs> Maybe a 16 foot or 16 inch uh, incline or maybe even a one foot incline would be better. Uh, we just need a little bit of speed. That gives you enough speed to get to the other end and stall the coping. Um, I'm going to be skating in here uh, fairly often. So I'm going to try to do uh, a couple times a week, come out during my lunch break and I'm doing live streams. So if you're interested, uh, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when I go live. It'll usually be around a lunchtime. I don't know when in the future, so don't ask for a schedule. Uh, but if you want to watch the live streams after they're done, you should join the Patreon. Um, Backtoblading.com slash Patreon. Uh, it's a buck a month and it gives you access to all of the podcast feed before we publish it, as well as all of the live streams uh, with, the, uh, with the music that I'm not allowed to play on YouTube. 
Um, so uh, back to building.com slash Patreon. Would love your support. The money helps build the ramps back here so that we can skate and we can make more content. Um, even if you're not interested, the live streams will be available as we are live. Um, we might have some friends come over and uh, it should be a really fun series that I hope you'll, uh, hope you'll come join us with. Anyway, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I'll see you guys next week.